Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. Well, today we're finally going to fix the computer. Not that it's broken, but this is preventative measures. We're going to replace the thermal paste between the heatsink and the CPU. So let me take a moment and explain why I'm replacing the thermal paste between the heatsink and my computer's brain, the CPU. Not long ago, my computer quit working. I had to reload the whole system, and once that was done, I fired it up, the fan began to really labor loud and noisy. So I opened it up and found the heat sink clogged with dust. I removed the heat sink from the CPU, blew out the dust, dusted off the CPU, and put it back together. Now I'm really grateful to all my YouTube family who helped me see how horribly wrong that could have gone for me and my computer. Okay, I've taken the heat sink off um, because we're going to be cleaning that spot right there as well. You're going to need some basic isopropanol alcohol from the drugstore, some Q-tips, some nice clean cotton little wipes. You don't really want to use paper towel because you'll get bits of lint and stuff from the or fibers paper fibers from the towel so you just want to use a piece of clean rag cotton preferably and this is silver thermal paste now i've heard people tell me to use toothpaste and all kinds of things no i darn near killed this computer once by putting it back together without cleaning the cpu uh, i'm not going to do that twice so as you can see there there's paste on there we're going to clean that off we're going to clean the paste off the heat sink. We're going to apply fresh paste and we're going to put it together. Let's get started. Okay. First and foremost, we're going to take one of our little cloths here and <clears throat> we're going to very carefully dab on a bit of alcohol. You don't want to do this over your computer. Just a little bit of alcohol. You don't want enough that it is going to spill, spread or drip. You just want enough to act as a solvent for your CPU. Now, like I said, folks, I am by no means a professional at this, but that is almost completely clean. Being really careful not to touch anything else. Now, we're going to take our alcohol, and I'm just going to, this is not over the computer. I'm just going to dip, I have dipped my Q-tip in alcohol, and I'm just going to spot it like that so that it doesn't drip we don't want it overflowing and we're just going to clean off the rest of the CPU and you just let the cotton swab go around the edge a little bit and we're just going to give this a nice wipe down with the alcohol dipped q-tip I'm going to take the other side of the q-tip and repeat again blotting the alcohol soaked q-tip on the rag so that we don't slop any alcohol onto this okay <clears throat> now let's do the heat sink now again with some alcohol and like I said it's just enough to soak the cloth but not to drip and we're just going to wipe off the base of our heat sink here. See, getting all the original thermal paste off. The purpose of the thermal paste is to make a seamless grease between the heat sink and the CPU. Why? Because we want it to be like one. And what it does is allows <clears throat> no air between the CPU and the heat sink. If air gets in, then this heat sink can't properly absorb the heat from the CPU and just be dispersed by the fan. So you want it completely seamless. There is our heat sink, nice and clean. Okay, on with putting on the paste. Okay, here is our uh, silver thermal paste. Now, I've watched a lot of different ways of doing this, folks, and so far that I can tell, the P method is 
best. I've heard of pe seen people spread it on with their finger in a plastic bag, spread it on with a business card, spread it on with a credit card, put lines, put crosses. But the thing is, this being a conductive material because it has metal in it, you don't want to run the risk of any of this spilling outside of your CPU chip area. Also the fact that this is going to heat up and it will spread your paste even further once it is heated up. So you do not want to use too much. If your thermal silver paste spreads and goes outside your CPU chip, it can short stuff out because it's conductive. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put enough on here in the very center of your CPU that is about the size of a small P. And that's it. Not much at all. The reason it goes back this way, all these hat screws have their own holes. This plug has its own thing. Don't overcomplicate it, folks. Keep it real simple. Touch as little as possible. And always remember, unplug the power source of your computer before ever opening it a little bit until they all make that really important connection the threads to the hole you don't want to just screw one down um, because you want it to go down levelly thus spreading your thermal paste evenly I once had an old Dell computer that a friend gave me when she bought a laptop and because we had a mobile home in Arizona, I wanted to take a computer with me rather than buy another one. And it just needed, I just needed it for email. But the problem with that computer was, is the fan and everything was completely enclosed. And one of the clips of all the things, the clip that held the fan and the heat sink and everything in place was made of plastic and it had snapped and therefore the whole thing would overheat and not work because the heat sink wasn't sitting flush now this was before I knew about thermal paste and all those things but I'll tell you something what I did with rubber bands and a screwdriver and tweezers would probably make most computer techs faint but I'll tell you all something else that computer is still working and at my neighbors in Arizona and that's it we're gonna put this back together and uh, hope oh no wait a minute we've got to plug our fan back in always take note if you're taking something off it may look simple but always take note where the place of everything is because it helps you line it back up this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, Folks, if you don't know what you're doing, don't open your computer. I nearly fried mine for a lack of a little bit of common sense and research. Take care. Bye-bye.